And half the time I was studying biochemistry and biophysics and um, using Schrodinger wave equation to study visual mechanism in, in the eye. And this had been my graduate project was to try to shed some light on the mechanism of vision, which is still at that time not very well understood at all. Uh, somehow in the retina, a photon of light hits rhodopsin. Rhodopsin changes, and that causes a nervous impulse to be released that is then transmitted to the brain. And exactly what those steps were weren't clear at all. So that was the project that I was given. And in order to do this, I needed retinas. And uh, this was, of course, in the middle of cattle country. So <laughs> getting <laughs> mammalian retinas wasn't that hard. Um, I just walked in one day into uh, the floor, the slaughtering floor of American Stores Packing Company and just walked up to the first guy I saw and said, look, you know, I'm doing research on eyes and retin and stuff and I know you guys need these eyes for like hot dogs and shit, but could I, you know, get like a hundred of them a week? And they were totally glad to help. So each week I would go down there and get a baggie, you know, a black baggie with a hundred cow eyes in it. Uh, take them back to the laboratory, take them out, put them on ice. So I had a hundred eyes staring at me, which is a very, very weird, spooky feeling. It's like some Alex Gray painting, you know, all these eyes sort of coming at you. Um, I would cut them open, scrape the retina out, use a process of extraction, get the rhodopsin out. And this is all done in a dark room. So the rhodopsin is dark adapted, which you have when you, you know, go into a room that's dark, your eyes will adapt. That's the rhodopsin recoiling. <clears throat> then I would put in certain electrodes that would measure calcium, potassium, sodium, zinc, and then just go over and turn the light on and watch the changes as photons were absorbed and there was a shift in the, in the mineral composition. And uh, had the minor distinction of discovering that when a photon hit rhodopsin, it uncoiled and released a calcium molecule, which migrated to the membrane and caused a sodium potassium flux. And that was what was one of the primary um, causes of vision. And um, gave a, a paper in the New York Academy of Sciences. And, and so, so I was kind of pursuing that side but my heart wasn't in it and I would really sort of cut out and go home and read. 